Good morning again. I'm talking today about the ebb and the flow. This is, this is a month all about emotions and there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be challenges for each one of us in life because we're here to grow. We're here to expand. We're here to be open and receptive to something new and something that is asking more of us because we're here to grow. This is what I know to be true. Challenges aren't against us. I want to say that again. Challenges are not against you. Challenges call us to be more, to expand, to be greater and more available to whatever's going on. Challenges call us to expand into new ideas of our own personal self. Got to get better. Everything asks us, in my opinion, to get better. Challenges ask us to grow in faith and to expand what we believe. We are a faith-based community and we're not tunnel vision people, yes? Yeah. yeah. Nothing is ever really lost or taken away. Each life is filled with that ebb and that flow, the coming and the going. We are always living in and from what we believe. It's up to each one of us to stay present, to stay in that essence of who we truly are, to be available and receptive to growing, to be open. Divine, unique expressions of pure spirit. That's who we are. Winners. You are a winner. So turn to somebody and say, I am a winner. Yeah. And turn back to them and say, you are a winner. You are a winner. We're only going to know this if we're willing to say this to ourselves, yes? And then hopefully say it to somebody else. What would change in our lives if we begin to look at every event and every situation of life as breathing in us, the ebb and the flow. Inhale. Ah, exhale. Giving out, taking in. The ebb and the flow. At different times, I, I might think that, that my joy has disappeared. Anybody ever think their joy disappeared? However, in the moment that I think that my joy has disappeared, my, I can find it again. Ah, where's my joy? Oh, there it is. What brings you joy? Think about that for a moment. What makes your heart sing? Breathe it in. Did you know that there is a law? A law of good that governs all of our affairs. First, we have to let go of doubt. We have to let go of fear and uncertainty before we can accept and expect the good that is desiring to come into our lives. It takes patience. To allow the law of good to be present in every moment of our lives. It takes present patience, but it also takes a willingness to exercise, to, to keep repeating. I know that there's good just around the corner. I know that in this situation that I find myself in now that might be challenging, there is good in it, and I'm going to keep digging until I find the good. Yes? It's up to each one of us to learn to live from and in our faith. That's what faith-based people are all about. Knowing good is always desiring to be expanding and expressing in your life. Amen. It's right here for you all the time. The ebb is the opening for the flow of good to come rushing in. The retreating of the wave doesn't mean you will be left with nothing. Hear that. 
the retreating of the wave. No, the ebb makes way, makes room for the abundance of good to rush into you. All of life is about coming and going into greater good. The ebb and the flow. I love to sit at the ocean. I love to sit there and be mesmerized by the ocean, rolling in and rolling out, rolling in and rolling out, watching the waves. And the more I watch, the more I get relaxed. I don't know about you, if you do that too. But I never get worried when I see the wave going out that it's never going to come back. Do you? No. 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 And we say, well, that's silly, Maggie. But yet, when something leaves, we think it will never be returned. And yet, it returns in love, in appreciation and gratitude. So. I observe the coming and the going of the ocean with no doubt, no fear, never upset at the ocean because it recedes. Ah, let's see if we can remember that in our daily lives. We trust the flow. We trust that the wave returns. So when you are feeling limited or less or lost, trust. The good always returns, even in what's going on in the world today. We can't stop and look at the retreat of lives, but look at the good that this is waking up in people. I loved it the other day on the news. I don't watch the news much because I, I, it's my prayer time, you know? When I watch the news, I know what I need to pray for and pray with and to pray about. But the other day I heard something wonderful and they said, we got to stop talking about gun control and talk about gun safety. Gun safety. Let's talk about safety for all people everywhere. So I'm going to invite you to think of that when you listen to the news. Let it be safe for all people. Let me make a safe passage for all people. Yes? That's God calling. <laughs> this is the same with the law of good. The law of good starts no matter what is going on. It states that no matter what is going on in your life right now, let the wave take it. Let the ebb take it. Let go of what's troubling you. Give your pain to the receding waters. Let the wave coming in that flows freely with the good that you desire. Do you see that? As the ebb goes out, the wave goes out, let go of what's holding you and open to receive the good that is coming. Remembering to place no limits on the givingness of spirit. Spirit always has something greater for you to feel, to experience, and to express. And so let the good flow to you. I invite you to think about that when you inhale. Oh, good is coming to me. Exhale. I let go of what doesn't serve me any longer. Be excited and expectant knowing all the good is flowing to you in every moment. Yes? Yes. yes. Faith-based people practice self-observation and detachment. Oh, what am I thinking right now? Looking at that about us. And can I detach when the wave moves out? Yes, because I know something even greater is coming in. Our beliefs, our state of consciousness, attracts our life experience. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I say, oh, no, there goes the wave, it's over, it's all gone, I'm, you know, woe is me. We may be in a situation that seems to be unfair. You're, you're dealing with an illness, maybe you went, went through a loss. 
You could be worried or bitter or upset. We can't control what happens outside of us. But we can control what we do inside of us, how we can control how we think about the situation. We each need to dig deep into our faith, in my opinion, not allowing that negative thinking to rule our lives. Let the negative thinking be the part of the amp. It's up to each one of us to keep saying, singing God's praises. Isn't it wonderful? I believe. Keep thanking God for all the good you have. Because I know that there's much more good in your life than maybe what might be happening right now. All the good that is on the way. The good news is always have control over what we think. Having control over what we think brings to us greater good. How we feel about events in our lives. The gratitude for whatever it is that has taken place in your life. The other day, as Rick was leaving for work, Rick said, I'm going to love you all day. He has never said that. It lifted my heart. And I realized, as I could feel spirit lifting me, it made me realize that I need to say that to me. I'm going to love me all day. So now he says it every day. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I say it back. Are you willing to say, I'm going I'm to love myself all day? day. I'm going to love me all day. Yes? yes. Let's, let's say that. I'm, I'm going to love me all day. day. And when I step outside of that love, I'm going to remember, oh yeah, we make mistakes. I spill stuff. I break things. I laugh. It's okay, Maggie. You can fix it. Imagine, imagine that saying for you, that when you make a mistake, when you feel limited, you say, it's okay. I'm going to love you all day. No matter what. We each rule over our own atmosphere. We're in charge of how we feel, what we say, and how we talk to ourselves. We rule over our own thinking. We can't stop the offense of life, the offenses of life coming in. We cannot stop that. I don't know if you've ever tried. I tried. We can keep from believing life or people are here to hurt us. We talked about that last week. Hurt people hurt people. People who have been cheated or cheat are afraid you're going to cheat them. It isn't about you. It's about other people. The law of good is very powerful. We each have a choice. We have a choice to enter into life's race knowing we're going to go into life's race today as what? A winner. Yeah? yeah? No matter what the outcome, I am a winner. If I keep saying that to myself, I'm going to believe it, yes? Yes. I am loving myself all day. You know, I'm asking you to do uh, gold nuggets. These are my gold nuggets for today. The ebb and the flow. I'm a winner. The law of good supports me. I am loving myself all day. I think if we just did these three things, we'd be pretty well set, yes? And to stop in the moment, no matter what's going on, and say, thank you, God. Thank you, life. Thank you, good, for always showing up for me. There is good for me, and I'm willing and accepting to have it in every moment. Yes? Yes. We have to claim it. I can stand up here and claim it till the cows come home. You have to. It's up to you. Are you willing to assume the feeling of your desires fulfilled. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, a couple of you. 
Are you willing to accept that, that all of your desires are already on the way? Yes. Yeah. Embracing something new is a challenge. It challenges us. It challenges us to be better. Remember I talked about the ebb and the flow. That it, this place is a schoolhouse where we are here to learn, to grow, to expand our awareness. It's hard, until, it's hard until it isn't. You know, I watched my, my niece's daughter, <coughs> excuse me, her graduation from high school. And this is what they said, it's hard until it isn't. And I realized that here these young people had been in the school for some of them for four years, some of them for three years. And, and realize they know the ins and outs of that school, don't they? They've been there, they're, they're graduating. And now they're going to go into something brand new. What are you going into tomorrow that's brand new where you've never been before? Yeah, it's hard until you get familiar with it. And then it isn't. I love that. It's hard until being a faith-based person becomes your way of life. Deepen it. Open the door. Today, let us each be committed to taking all of the limits off of ourselves. I'm a winner. The law of good supports me. I'm going to love myself all day. Today, let us each focus on the flow of greater good desire to express in and for each one of our lives. Claiming that we each are winners and that you are triple blessed. Triple blessed. Good? Yes. yes. Yeah. This next song that's going to come, I'm wanting you to just, if it's comfortable, close your eyes. I'm going to go into a quick prayer and take in as the song embraces you. Take it deeper still and expand your heart. So knowing and accepting that there's only one life, one power, one all-loving, all-nurturing presence. It is the life and breath that lives within me. It is the ebb and the flow, the ever-givingness of pure spirit. And what is true of me, I know, is absolutely, gloriously, and beautifully true for and about you this day. You are a winner. You are the beloved place where God shows up and the powerful healing that is taking place in your life, in your body, in your life of affairs is powerful. It is the ebb and the flow of good that is coming. So we stay open and receptive and available to the healing, to the revealing of the greater truth, uniquely expressing in and through and as each one of us. And we release this, my powerful word, into that ever-living, loving law of God. Where we know and accept that it is returned, multiplied, and magnified. So now, in this music, we stay open and receptive to whatever it says to us this day. We let it be so. And so it is. Amen.